Hello and welcome to Nauset News. My name is Tori Howard. And I'm Aiden Mitzis with your announcements. Here's today's lineup. Our top story of the week is about vacation plans with Delaney Smith and Sydney Nickerson. Kima Shea Blake will be interviewing our High Five Student of the Week with Tyrone Baptiste behind the camera. This week's sports will be covered by Richard Ramsey. Chris Pomba will cover some fun things to do this week. Seth Finley and Clayton Hussey will be interviewing a talented Nostin student. Caleb Barefsky will be sharing a health tip, and Leah Baker will be reporting on the political spotlight. The special report will be covered by Matt Moreau, and fashion will be discussed by Shante Cunningham and Janelle Jones. Student Council will also be discussed later on. Now for your announcements. Uh, family Pantry in Harwich. The Family Pantry on Cape Cod needs volunteers on Saturdays. Shifts are between 7 a.m. and 2 p.m. The pantry is flexible and there is no need to be there every Saturday. Social Club. The club will meet Mondays at 3 p.m. in the guidance conference room right after school. Any questions, contact Ms. Timmons. Pasta Dinner Fundraiser. The class of 2019 is hosting a pasta dinner in the cafeteria, cafeteria in March from 5.30 to 7 p.m. There will also be a silent auction, which will be loads of fun. Uh, so come help out your junior class. And now over to Cindy and Delaney. I'm Cindy Nickerson. And I'm Delaney Smith. And we're here talking about the top story of the week. Which is what people are doing over their February break. We'll be walking around campus talking to a variety of different people. To see if they're going in a plane somewhere warm or driving up in their car to hit the slopes. Let's go. I'm Cindy Nickerson and I'm here with Grace Santos and we're going to be talking about her vacation plans. Grace, where are you going? I am going to New Hampshire. Where are New Hampshire going? It's called Waterville Valley. Are you doing anything special while you're up there? I'm going with Delaney and Cordelia to go snowboarding on the mountain. That's cool. How long are you going for? Uh, probably it's three days and two nights. Why are you going? Because it's my birthday, oh, and I decided fun. to celebrate with my good friends. Oh, that's fun. Yes. You're with Gage Bond, Matt Fisher, and we're going to be talking about what they're doing over vacation. Boys, what are you doing over vacation? I'm staying home. I'll also be staying home. It's kind of too cold out. <laughs> what What will you be doing while you're staying at home? I'm playing Fortnite. Playing Fortnite, maybe hanging out with friends. Mm -hmm. How long are you planning on playing for? Probably like 14 hours a day. Mm, maybe like eight hours a day. <laughs> that's good. Hi, I'm Delaney Smith here with Kayla McGuire. Kayla, what are your plans over break? Probably just stay around and hang out with my friends and I'm going shopping off Cape. Where? Derby Street. Sounds fun. Yeah. Okay. Cordelia Yamling. Cordelia, what are you doing on vacation? I'm going to go learn to snowboard in New Hampshire with some friends for a few days. Oh, that sounds so fun. What do you plan on doing when you come back? I might go to Boston for a couple nights. What do you plan on doing there? Um, I don't really know, but my mom wanted to go there, so. Oh, that sounds fun. Doing over vacation. Um, not much. I think I'm planning on going skiing for a few days up in New Hampshire. Oh, that sounds fun. What mountain? Uh, either Loon Mountain or, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> sounds fun. I hope you have fun. Thanks. Richard Ramsey. And we're going to be talking about what he's doing over vacation. What are you doing over vacation? Well, I'm just going to stay home, maybe get up on some sleep. I missed a lot, so I'm just going to get up on my sleep. Today. That's a good idea. Yeah, what are you going to do? Um, I don't think I'm going to do very much over vacation. Probably the same as you. Yeah, that's fine. As you know, I'm Sydney Nickerson. And I'm Delaney Smith. And for our last video, we're going to be interviewing each other. What are you doing over break? I think I'm just going to be hanging out at home and catching up on sleep. Fun? Yeah. What are you doing? Going snowboarding with Grace and Cordelia, as you might have seen. Oh, yeah. Seems like a lot of people are going skiing. Yeah, just the three of us. Yeah. Well, I hope you have a good time. I hope you have a good time. Hey, welcome to Things to Do. My name is Chris Pombo, and I'm here to talk about things to do on Cape Cod. For many people, vacation means time off is an opportunity to lay back and spend time to themselves. With the upcoming break, everyone has a chance to hang out along with participate in our community's many activities. Looking for a chance to show your talent? Check out the Cape Cod Ballroom Dances Casual Dance on Saturday, February 17th at 7 p.m., located at the Yarmouth Senior Center. 
On February 22nd, don't miss your chance to see Marcus the Magician at 3 p.m. located at Cultural Center of Cape, Card in, of Cape Cod in South Yarmouth. For those interested in the musical arts, check out singer-songwriter Troy Bourne on Friday, February 22nd, located at Destiny, Destiny Coffee House in West Dennis, as well as Bart Winsman, smooth jazz group, who perform at 8 p.m. on Saturday, 20, February 24th at Grand Cruise Wine and Bar Grill in Hyannis. Not interested in any of, the, any of these activities? How about a movie? One recent release grabbing the attention of many is the movie I, Tanya. This movie is rated R, and it portrays the roller coaster of a life that Tar Tanya Harding lived every single day. She is a well-known figure skater, and it's a great movie to check out. Next, we have a family-friendly friend Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle, rated PG-13. This movie is a comedic spin-off of the early Jumanji movies with top performers J Dwayne Johnson, Kevin Hart, and Karen Gillan playing high school students who are sucked into the world of Jumanji. Finally, we have Maze Runner, The Death Cure, rated PG-13. This is the third movie in the trilogy, and it is hoped that all unanswered questions will be answered. My name is Chris Pombo, and this has been Things to Do. Hi, my name is Tyrone Baptist, and today I'm going to be interviewing track star Shavar Champagne. He is a sophomore on the NASA team and has made it to the state regionals, and has also got the school record for 4x50 and 4x200 relay. What motivated you to start running a track team? Um, what motivated me? I was originally from Jamaica, and growing up there, the two main sports were soccer and track. And growing up, I watched Usain Bolt, which was the fastest man in the world. So growing up, I always wanted to be like Usain Bolt. So I joined the track team. Do you do any of his training? Um, I watch a lot of videos on what he does, and I do some of that when I'm at home on my own time. Is there a special training you do? Um, yeah, I work a lot. There's like resistance training. I work with parachute, so like it, it gives you resistance. So like when you're not running without it, it's, you're gonna run a lot faster because when you're running with the parachute, it's something holding you back, so. Okay, so then how was your first individual race? Uh, my first individual race, right of 55, was very good. I ran a PR of 7.01, which was pretty good for me because I've never done the 55 before. And when was that? Um, that was, I'm not sure, like, that was the, that was the first, first meet that we ran. Okay. Do you think you'll continue to do this in college? Um, yeah, hopefully. Hopefully. Want to get a scholarship for it? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Uh -huh. And what's the fastest time you ever had? Fastest time I had for the 55 was 7.01, which was my first time. So that's I've came fastest close. Time. Yeah, that's my fastest time okay. ever. I've ran it like five times. Five times? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm Tyrone. This is Shavar Champagne, and this has been a half hour story of the week. Hello, my name is Janelle Jones, and this is Shante Cunningham, and we are here today to talk about fashion tips. I'm going to talk about girls' fashion. I think that girls should wear skinny ripped jeans with crop tops and vans on their feet. Girls will also look sexy wearing ripped skirts and crop hoodies with Jordans. Girls should wear their hair down, straight, or even curly. Looking even more desirable, girls should wear shorts and bodysuit with endearing slides. Now over to Janelle. And now I'm going to talk about boys' fashion. The boys should wear black with ripped jeans with a shirt jacket to match it with gold jewelries and lit Jordans. Thanks for watching. I'm Janelle Jones. And I'm Shante Cunningham. Hi, I'm Clayton from Nasa News. We're here with JT Tullock, who is taking one shot. And he also happens to be the back of goalie for Nasa Hockey. JT, what are you working on right now? I'm making a table right now for my room. What made you choose to make this table? Um, I needed to get my homework done. and no better place than a desk. Very true. Did you run into any problems making it? Yeah, um, the, making the top was pretty hard because I was using a bunch of different types of wood on it and it was hard to make it uh, level. 
Do you know what types of wood you, you are using to make this bed? Um, I think I'm using pine and poplar. Hi, I'm Caleb Borupski with this week's health tip. Uh, this goes out to anybody who lifts heavy weights for either recreational purpose or strength building or if they do a sport especially, this will be really important. Uh, the tip is to get your rest. The more time you put between working out, the better your body will be able to recover and the more output your nervous system will have the next time you work out. And this is very easily done by simply working out one muscle group per day and then waiting to train that muscle group about a week or so. And then when you train it again, it will have proper time to rest and recover. And in between that, you can train other muscle groups. So for example, you might train legs on a Monday and then train chest on a Tuesday, arms on Wednesday, so on and so forth. And by the time the next week comes around, those muscle groups will have rested enough to recover and be stronger and you'll feel stronger. You'll not feel so tired during the day. Your nervous system will have more time to recover. And uh, other benefits of this besides having better workouts and being stronger is that you gain muscle faster. It seems counterintuitive to rest more to grow more, but it really does work. Rest, your, it takes about three weeks for your muscles to fully recover, so training each muscle group once a week, maybe twice a week if you're really going for bodybuilding or endurance, is going to be a pretty much ideal for keeping stress on the muscles without overworking them and causing yourself to become fatigued. Um, other benefits are fewer injuries. You won't have so much strain on your muscles that you'll have to develop things like tendonitis or muscle imbalances. And it will be less, you'll carry less tension in your muscles and organs as you go about your day. So you'll feel more energy during the day and you won't feel so stressed out next time you go to work out. I'm Caleb Borupski and this is your health tip of the week. Hello, I'm Isabel Merle and I'm here with this week's student council report. The council has been busy at work planning for the MASC conference, which will be March 7th through the 9th. The MASC conference is a meeting of all of the student councils in Massachusetts. Here the councils go to learn leadership skills to take back to their councils. The members have also been busy fundraising for the conference. The members will be holding a raffle for a calendar with a local gift card on each day. The dates will be later announced. Rock the Stage will be held March 22nd in the auditorium at NASA High School. And lastly, the NASA Student Council held a very successful Faculty Friday on February 9th. On behalf of the NOSIT teachers, thank you student council members for your awesome event. Special thanks to Lily Rowe, who is the faculty liaison for the council for executing a fun Valentine's Day themed event. I'm Ms. Morrow, thanks for watching and have a great weekend. Hi, welcome to NOSIT Sports and my name is Richard Ramsey. And I'm here to report on all athlete, athletics and sports. I would like to share a few upcoming and past events that our very own Nauset students produce. First, I'd like to congratulate Sher seniors wrestlers Sherman Merrill and Eli Wilson, who have qualified for the D3 state championships at Wakefield High School. I would also like to congratulate our divers, Gabby Dolly, Delaney Smith, Jack Johnson, Coleman Norton, Carlett Nash, Tanner Cornell, Ryan Pish, John Shush, and Dory Carlson, who have advanced to the state champions at Boston University over our February vacation. Good luck to our indoor track athletes who will compete in our divisional championships tomorrow at Reggie Lewis. These results will be on next week's episode. Also, they have broken our school records in the 4x50 and 4x200 relays. The record people who have done this is Shavar, Tate, Curtis, and Owen Wilcox, and myself. In basketball news, both boys and girls will be heading into the state tournament this year. The, se the seeding will come out shortly after the February vacation. The girls had their best season in 20 years. They won the ACL title and have very young team made up of underclassmen in the startup lineup. For the boys, it has been an amazing show for junior Charlie Campbell, who has already broken the all-time scoring record of the school history. Stay tuned for the results coming in. Thank you. 
Hello, I'm Jack Auer, and welcome to this week's Political Spotlight. It was another busy week in Washington, D.C., so let's jump right into it. First, the White House is dealing with the fallout from the Rob Porter scandal. Porter resigned as a White House staff secretary after both of his former wives accused him of domestic abuse. Apparently, Porter was denied full security clearance by the FBI because of the accusations, yet kept on the job by the White House Chief of Staff, John Kelly. In recent weeks, Kelly's credibility has been questioned, even by President Trump himself. However, according to several senior White House officials, Kelly is not on the way out of the West Wing anytime soon. Additionally this week, President Trump unveiled his infra infrastructure plan that plans to turn $200 billion in federal money into $1.5 trillion for fixing America's roads and bridges. Finally this week, President Trump's approval rating has improved to 41%. This bump is more likely to President Trump's recent State of the Union address, which generally was well received. This has been this week's Political Spotlight Jack Hour. Thank you and stay informed. Hi, I'm Jonas O'Neill. We are doing Inside the Classroom. Right now we're right outside of Ms. Campbell's classroom. They are doing the Doodle for Google Challenge. Uh, let's go take a look. So, I'm here today with my good friend Jackson. He is doing the Doodle for Google Challenge. Uh, so, Jackson, do, what was your inspiration for this masterpiece? Just like the ocean and nature, you know, living it here on Cape Cod by the beach, you know, just really inspires me every day, you know, you drive by Coast Guard, you drive by Nasset Life, you get to see the beach every day, you get to see shells and rocks on the beach, and, you know, that just really inspires me, you know, make kind of more of an abstract Google logo with a bunch of shells for each other. Yeah, that's very inspiring. Mm -hmm. Do you think you have a good chance of winning? Oh, totally. Totally? Uh-huh. There you go for it all. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Good for it all. Thanks. I had done this. So I'm here with Landon today. Landon, what inspired you to do this piece? Um, so basically, I, uh, whenever I do art, I sort of listen to something, and um, whatever the feeling I get like from that uh, music or that particular song, I um, then create stories and uh, draw them out. What song were you using for this piece? That's what I'm not really I wasn't using a song for this one. This one was just sort of like trying to capture what inspires me usually. Nice. Are you excited for the results of this contest? Definitely. Um, it, it's a huge reward and to even enter the contest is, is fun. Awesome. Well, good luck with it. And I, I... I'm here with Isabel today. Um, she's doing the Doodle for Google Challenge. Um, what exactly are you working on? I am drawing some animals. Here's my practice run. See, I'm really inspired by them and the way they move and how they like are all over the world and surviving in such a tough place. So can you explain your thoughts behind this piece and what went into choosing the animals that were selected <laughs> for it? Um, the fish are a team and the puffer fish, you know, defends itself. So like you need teamwork, you need like guarding this. Um, the snake, the monkey, the bird, and the lizard have not had a meaning besides that they're found all over the world. Very nice. Well, I wish you luck in this upcoming contest.